Hey everybody, this is Sean at Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, Custom Poster PSD Panoramic Metal Edition. Uh, this is the fourth volume of the Panoramics, and we're going to go through each one of the designs that's available in this collection and show you how each one of them functions uh, so that you can get a better understanding on how uh, everything works. So, uh, just a little bit off the top, you are going to get 10 uh, completely different designs in this metal edition. Um, all of them are themed with uh, metal in, in in the designs, so they have different metal textures and and things like that that you can change the colors on. Uh, everything's very easy to use, uh, just like everything else that you find from Spotlight Photographics. And uh, we're just really excited about this collection. Um, <coughs> there's also a matching uh, game day banners edition uh, to go along with this. Uh, that has the same designs, uh, just themed over to a uh, four foot by six foot banner uh, for individual players. And there's also a sportswear uh, collection that also has the same designs themed for the full sublimated sportswear available at Colorado Timberline. But today we're going to be talking about the Panoramic Volume 4 collection. And uh, <coughs> let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is the Backsplash template. Uh, this one is uh, originally going to show up with these samples on it. Uh, we put all of our samples uh, on the template when you open it so you understand where your players would go uh, in, the, in the layer palettes. Um, <coughs> so if you're going to remove your, uh, the samples and put your players in the same spot, you would simply just uh, highlight those players that are in there, go ahead and delete them, and then drag in your players on top of that. So with the players off of it, this is what the template looks like. Uh, right now it's themed as blue, but we can very quickly uh, switch this over. And most everything that we make here at Colorado, or at Spotlight Photographics, sorry, um, <coughs> have um, the same color changing methods. Uh, we use color overlays, shape colors, and um, there's also um, adjustment layers that we use. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that on this template here. So we start from the bottom and we see a gradient overlay right here on the first layer. All we need to do is double click on that and then you can see that the blue is right here in the gradient. To change this, click on that and then click on your color and that's going to pull up your palette. And We can change this over to any color that we want and we're going to move this one over to red. And what I like to do, if we're going to use the same red across the, uh, across the poster here, uh, I'm going to actually copy this number that's down here next to the pound sign and we're going to use that on every color change that we do from here on out that's a color overlay. <coughs> so we're going to hit OK on these and that will make that red there in the background. And we go up a little bit higher until we see another one. And that is all the color overlays in this one. So now we have a couple other options. Uh, this is a blue area. We right click on that. <coughs> You'll see that this is a rectangle and this is a shape layer so this is a little different than what we just did all we need to do is double click on the shape and that's going to pull up your color you can see it's blue so if we paste that color code that we just had for red and now it's red <coughs> and then the name all we need to do is go to our character palette which shows the uh, font and everything like that and you can see that it is set as blue now so if you click on that color it pulls up that color palette and we can paste our red into there and on this one, if you notice, this had a texture on it beforehand. So if we go backwards, you see that metal texture? Different colors sometimes react diff differently on uh, blending modes for textures. And for example, on this one, we have a texture above that that's set as a color dodge. So if you see right here where my mouse is, uh, you can see that it's set on a color dodge. So we need to change that. But first, we're going to change it to the color that we're changing it to. And you can see that all went away because that, that color dodge doesn't, um, it didn't translate correctly. So we're going to go up to our texture and then we're just going to scroll through the different uh, effects, blending modes, until we like the one that we find. <coughs> so we're just going through until we see the one we like. And we're going to go back up. I like going through them a couple times just to s find the one that looks the best for me. And that one looks good. 
All right, so we've changed this all over to red. Now, if we wanted to change the uh, the name of the team, we just use our text tool and highlight it, just like you would in any other uh, text changing program. And then we're just going to type in a new name. So we're going to change this name to the Mustangs. There we go. If you notice, it didn't go all the way to the edges like the other one did. And what we can do here is just hit Control T for tre free transform, and click on the center here, and right where my mouse is. And while holding uh, Shift and Alt, that will actually expand from the center evenly both ways. So Shift and Alt. And now it's stretched across. <coughs> and the text at the bottom, we can do the same thing. We can change that to whatever we wanted it to be. Then we can save that out as a red template. All right, so that is Backsplash. As you can see, there's a lot of things you can do uh, very quickly to change the color over to the right color that you want. So let's move over to Bracket. Bracket's a little bit more complex. This is the second template available in the Volume 4 Metal Edition. And this one has just a couple different color changes as well. We have the orange bars that you can see here on the left and the right. And we have the color of the font. Now the font is going to be the same as we did before. We go to that that layer there you can see that color is orange so let's say we wanted to do blue they they didn't like it orange they wanted it to be their blue color so we can color pick on their blue and then let's copy that color code and let's go over to the right bars so we have the right color bar we have a color overlay on that bar clicking on the color pasting the blue and then coming over here to this side and changing that color overlay by clicking on it, clicking on the color, and pasting that blue. All right, so we switch that one over to blue. Now, you, you may ask yourself, well, what if I don't want the fire in there? Is, th is this flattened? None of our designs are flattened. So if you wanted to come in here and remove the fire, we actually have it in there. And let me show you. Let me take this team, the team off of this real quick. Let's go ahead and delete them out. So you can see there's fire. Now, a lot of places would flatten all this. In this template, we actually have this in three sections. So if you wanted to get rid of the second fire, you can just turn that off. So now you have fire on the right and left. If you wanted to get rid of the one on the right as well, you can get rid of that and just have it on the left. If you wanted to get rid of all of it, there you go. So now you have a completely different looking template without the fire on it. And uh, that's, a, that's as simple as it is. You can turn everything on and off. If you wanted to have the fire, but you didn't want to have that grid in the background, you can turn that grid off. Um, pretty much everything on all of our templates is separated. Even the screws on this you can turn off. So that is the bracket template. All right, so let's go over to Grill. This is the third template on the Metal Edition, uh, Volume 4 Panoramics. And Grill has a couple different things. Uh, this one is the first one that's going to be using the hue and saturation layer. So if you see here, this is actually masked into this. So this color that's down here at the bottom, we're just going to double click right here. That brings up our slider and we can slide this to whatever color that we want. So let's say that we were going to change this one to purple. So we've changed that to the purple color now. We have our rectangle here like we did in the previous one, which is a shape. So we'll double click on that shape, select our purple color, maybe darken that down a little bit. And if we want that color to match, again, we'll copy that color code and come down here to our bottom bar, and that is also a shape, so we'll click on that and paste that in there. So now we have it a purple. Text is editable the same way, just highlight and type. And again, this is a lot of different layers that you can turn on and off. So if you wanted to turn this off, you wanted to turn the rectangle off, um, even the background texture, you can turn that off. That's Grill. Now let's move over to the fourth one. This is Ironside. This one's a, a very metal theme. Uh, we got the diamond plate and the different kind of metal textures. And everything in this one is also uh, in different layers. Even this metal panel that's on the right and left, um, these brackets, you can turn these on and off. Uh, this one's very simple to change colors on. Uh, we have a light burst in the background with a color overlay. So if we were wanting to change this over to blue, and then copy that color code there, and we can go to the next light burst overlay and change that one to blue. There you go. 
that easy. And again, you can turn things off on this as well, um, just like we showed a second ago. Uh, if you wanted to take that texture bar off at the bottom, you could take that off. All right, so that is Ironside. Moving on to the fourth. Actually, the fifth one is Metal Stars. This is our cheerleading and dance version. Uh, again, uh, everything is color changeable in this one. Uh, this one's got a top and bottom shine. And if you turn these on and off, you can see what they do. Um, and this template, I always suggest turning those off first. Um, getting your other colors in line, and then we'll work work with those. So first, we're going to start with our right lines here. We have a color overlay. And let's switch this template over to red. And let's copy that color so we don't have to keep picking it. And we'll change these left lines here. Change that over. Okay, now we've got some stars over here on the right with a gradient overlay. So this is just like a color overlay, except for we just need to pick the gradient color. And you can feel free to, you know, play with that gradient, but uh, if you wanted to have the same effect as what you see in the sample, all you need to do is just switch the color that's in that gradient. Okay, now we have it down here at the bottom, we have a metal bar, just like we did in the previous ones. We just click on that shape, put our color in there, now we have it as, as red. And we also have <coughs> our last name here, which is a character color, just like we had in the previous designs. And we can switch that over to red as well. Alright, so now we have our shines. Uh, let's start with the bottom shine. Uh, this is a hue and saturation, and we can just move that around until we see the color that we like. And some colors will react differently. For example, if you can't get a true red on this one, all you need to do is come down to uh, the colorize option. And that's going to just straight color instead of being a, uh, more of an overlay. And we could just turn our saturation way up. And now we can slide this bar and get a color. We'll just turn that way up there. Get that nice red. Okay. And we can do the same thing on the bottom one. We'll turn that one back on. Actually, I'm sorry, the top. <coughs> and we can play with this one, see what happens. See, the red just has a little bit of an issue on this one. So let's go ahead and turn that one to colorize as well. Turn our lightness way up, our saturation way up. And there we are. All right, so that's how you change that one over to red. That is the Metal Stars Panoramic. All right, now to the next one, Metal Electric. Obviously, this one has a lot of lightning in it, and uh, we decided to merge the name Metal and Electric and call it Metal Electric. Um, but this one has the same features as you've seen in the other ones. You have uh, a left and right bracket. So if we go to our left bracket, uh, this is a color shape, so we just simply click on the shape. And let's switch this one over to yellow. They uh, wanted it to be yellow and not blue, so let's try that. All right, so we've got our color that we like. We'll copy that yellow. And let's go over to our left bracket, double click on our shape, paste our yellow in there. And we have our left yellow bar. Let's change that over to blue using the color overlay. Change that to blue. And we can do the same thing on the left one. Color overlay was yellow. Let's change that one to blue. And then we can change that name again <coughs> using the character color. And we'll put our yellow color back in there. And there you go. Lightning is movable. Um, you can remove the left and keep the right, or you can remove both or you can have them both in there. So that is Metal Electric. Now moving on to Rivet. We're getting close to the end here. All right, Rivet uses the same features as before. We'll start here at the bottom. And you can see we have a color overlay on a burst. That's red. So let's change this template over to green. 
So we'll pick our green color, say that's the green we want to use, and we will start going up the line, finding anything that's green. We have a bottom bar there, which is a shape. So we'll click on the shape, paste our green in there. We have our bottom bar here as well. And this bottom bar actually is just a paint bucket. So we'll just come over to our paint bucket and paste our green color in there. And we will just make sure that we're on that layer over here on the palette. And then we will just click. Now it's green. Changing the name again. You can see that that was a color as well. And now we've switched it over to green. That simple. Just remove your sample players, pop your uh, team in there, and change the text, and you're out and sending it to the printer. Now, a lot of these um, these panoramics, people ask, you know, well, what do I use them for? Um, they're very popular for for like stadium banners. You know, printing these up as banners, and and these uh, these fit the ratio they are right now will fit a two foot by nine foot banner um, very easily, or anything that's in that uh, one to three ratio. Uh, printing, uh, people print them anywhere between a, a 10 by 30 or a 12 by 36. Uh, a lot of people will do orders for these um, for kids, and the each parent will order, will say a, a 10 by 30 print, and then the team will order a banner of that panoramic to hang up on their on their uh, field. And a, a lot of uh, photographers that I've talked to have done that at a discount. You know, depending on how many kids bought a panoramic, they'll discount the banner. And it gets everybody involved and kind of gets people all wanting, you know, to buy a copy for themselves so that the team can get a discount on the banner. So they work out really cool. Um, <coughs> there's uh, This one's very simple. It uses the same thing. Uh, this is our smash template. And this is going to use the same thing as we did before on the swipe. Um, these two swipes, the orange ones here, uh, just like we did before on the green. Um, we'll, we'll do this one in blue but it's a paint bucket on these so you just paint bucket this one and pick this top swipe here paint bucket on that swipe and we've switched that one over and then text again simply highlight uh, if you notice that this has got a metal texture to it and the nice thing about all these is um, as long as you keep your text in the same area because it's got a texture over top of it you can type in um, whatever you want and it's going to keep that metal that metal shine on there, which is which is really nice. So uh, that is the uh, smash template. We got two left. Spin. This one was very popular when we uh, promoted this on Facebook. And if you are not if you're not already um, part of our Facebook uh, family, uh, visit us on on Facebook, uh, either Spotlight Photographics or uh, Photo Solutions Market. We both have Facebook pages, and uh, anytime new products come out, we you know we throw them up on there first. And uh, if you're a f if you're a friend of ours or a fan of ours on our page, uh, you also get some specials that we only leak to our Facebook community. So if you're not already a fan of us on Facebook, make sure you check us out, Spotlight Photographics on Facebook. So. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here is change our colors over on this template. This is again spin. Uh, this one's really, really cool. Um, we just have a couple things to do here. We have a color overlay on this back texture. So if we wanted to change this one over to their orange, just do that. And then we have a uh, hue and saturation on the fire. Now there's two layers of fire here um, for just different depth. So to change the color so you can see what you're changing, I always suggest turning one of them off so that you can see what's changing. Because if you're trying to change one color, and uh, it's going to make the other one underneath it look funny. So we're going to start on this one with the hue and saturation, uh, like we've done before. And we're just going to move this till we find the orange that we like. There we go. And now we can turn this one on at the bottom. You can see it turned it black and white. So now we just do the same thing here until we find the orange. And you can see how much that popped it because it's in two different layers. Okay, well I like that. I actually like a little bit different orange. Uh, last name again, we have, um, this is actually going to be a gradient overlay instead of a color of the text. So we're just gonna come down to the gradient overlay on that layer. Uh, click on that and you can see there's two color blues here. Uh, so we just change that to our color orange. 
Actually, that's kind of cool, too. You can see you can change the top and the bottom. We'll change that one to orange as well, just for sake of demonstration. And then the last thing we need to change is this rectangle here, just like we have in the other ones. We're just going to paste our color into that. And there you go. Now we have switched that one over to orange. Very simple, very quick. Uh, you know, once you do these for a team, you can always save that as a new template. And then anytime an orange team comes up again, you don't have to change them all again. Just open up your uh, spin orange template that you saved. All right, so the last and final one we have on the volume four is the street. <coughs> and this one's got a lot of layers in this one. Um, this one's got all these different spikes. We've got the screws that are here, um, all the different layers for this. So there's a lot of things you can change in this one. Um, but again, it's still very quick because uh, everything's got the same methods. So if we start here with the hue and the saturation for the background, we can change this one over to any color that we want that burst to be. So let's change this template. Let's change this template to a kind of teal green. There we go. All right, so then we're going to keep going here. We have a left metal, and you can see it's got a color overlay. And we're going to be changing this right here, this purple area. And let's go ahead and color pick our teal that we want, make it the color that we need. And let's go ahead and copy that because we're going to use that a couple times. All right, so that changed that, that section there, teal. Come over to the left side metal. Do the color overlay on this one, pasting our teal on this. And then we have the name right here of the team. Go ahead and paste our teal in there. And then we have the color bottom bars. We have a top and a bottom. Uh, and these are the two bars that go above and below the uh, full school name here. Uh, and those are just shapes. So we're just going to click on the shape change the color of the shape click on that shape paste the color in there and then the last thing we have is this light flare which has a hue and saturation adjustment layer on it again so double clicking on that we can just scroll through until we find that color and there we go that's simple um, we didn't change the background I kinda like the purple back there that was kinda cool but now that I'm looking at it in the sense of changing everything, if we want to change that color overlay on that back texture, we can do that. And you see what that just did. Made everything nice and teal. So there you go. So that's Street. So again, this is the Panoramic Volume 4 collection. Uh, it is available on our website and our web store, which is photosolutionsmarket.com. And if you go to photosolutionsmarket.com and click on Template Collections, and then go down to the Sports Game Day Panoramic Collections. You can find this full collection in the Full Collections DVD set. And it is right here, Metal Edition. Um, there's also another edition with the floors in it. Like if, uh, we were looking at ones that were all quarter body just now. And just to give you a little preview here, you can see that they're the same designs, but now we have floors. And that's really exciting too. Uh, depending on if you're shooting full body or if you're shooting quarter body, um, you know, make sure that you get the templates that work best for you. Um, but obviously, you know, if you want the full effect of full body, you want to go with the uh, floors expansion kit. Uh, they're both going to be called Volume Four, uh, but the new one with the floors is called the Floor Expansion Pack. So those are both available on our website, and for a limited time, you can actually get them both. Uh, they normally retail for $300, but you can add right here if you want to bundle with the other edition. So you can get both. You can get both for $399.98. That's only $99 extra to add the second matching set of the panoramics. So uh, thank you again for stopping by. Uh, we love hearing from you. If you ever have any questions or need any help, uh, my number is... 904-398-4355. You can also email me by emailing support at photosolutionsmarket.com. And again, my name is Sean DeMint with Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market. Have a great day and stay creative.